Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Breaking news for Palantir Technologies as they have just secured a $250 million contract with the government in terms of AI expansion. Now, we've seen contracts that are really starting to increase for Palantir over the previous few weeks. Great in terms of revenue, and especially with earnings coming up, we've had major analysts that have just changed PLTR's rating from a hold to a buy. Right now, as we speak, Palantir breaks out over 18 dollars per share with a lot of trading volume coming in especially pushing past that 50-day moving average palantir is trying to hold at 18 dollars as we speak right now and especially with the earnings here in the near future there's going to be some exciting trading weeks ahead of us so if you are a new or a returning viewer to the channel thank you guys so much for watching supporting a smaller content creator hit that like button subscribe and of course of course of course i'm not a financial advisor i'm just collecting the data and dispatching it to you now pop it up on the screen right here is we got PLTR right now that's sitting at 1790. Really interesting here, especially yesterday's trading session. I think with some of the conflicts that we do have going on in Israel, and especially governments that are depending on Palantir's AI products to help analyze defense and with security in terms of these government contracts, exploded up over 5%. Palantir's up about another 1% to 2% as we speak and hit a top here at 1840. Right now, what's trading volumes already at 72.95 million and we're only about halfway through the trading day now if we go into the breaking news right here this is palantir stock like we talked about disclosing that they have a new contract worth up to 250 million dollars with the pentagon for ai expansion now as this comes through especially this contract um supports the combatant commands if i'm saying that right armed services intelligent community and special forces as those groups continue to test AI capabilities, especially in times of conflict right now that we're seeing on a worldwide perspective. We're seeing the demand for Palantir's AI products increase, and especially with the release of this right now, is perfect timing on behalf of a company's perspective. Now, Palantir said in this release that this new contract was posted on the Department of Defense's website last week and is worth up to $250 million through 2026. Now, we're seeing pre-market trading. We're seeing trading that's increasing. It'll be exciting to see if Palantir can approach this $20 level of resistance. The reason why we say that is because we've, if we zoom out on Palantir really and get a bigger look on Palantir, Palantir really and especially has hit that resistance of $20 in the past. If you look back up here, this was basically right before earnings came up before last quarter. And when Palantir was basically in lines with the earnings per share and basically in line with those revenue metrics, we saw Palantir come back to a 25% correction, nearly at about this $15. We're seeing the same pattern gear up, especially for these earnings potentials that will be coming here in the near future. And like I said, we're gonna be seeing those around November 6th, November 7th, with earnings per share estimates right now at about six cents. One thing that is important about that, especially with these current quarter estimate revisions, is they are changing the prediction of some of the top Wall Street analysts and top predictors in the actual stock market. And right now, the earnings estimate of that six cents per share for the current quarter, this responds to a 500% change in the positive end from the number reported a year ago. And over the last 30 day, the Zacks consensus, which is a large consensus, a lot of people rely on the Zacks rating, this estimate for Palantir Technologies has increased 7.7% basically, because one estimate has moved higher compared to no negative revisions. And in the last 90 days, we've seen five bullish EPS earnings per share revisions in terms of the bullish perspective. This means that Wall Street analysts are expecting and pushing Palantir to these high standards, expecting higher levels of reporting in terms of revenue and occur, of course, of ter terms of earnings per share. Now, what this does change is the actual Zach's rank. And a lot of people have relied on this, especially as a you know, reliable rating tool. Palantir Technologies currently carries a Zach's rank of buy, especially as they were recently just at a hold. So the fact that Palantir right now is coming into this bullishness, we see a lot of momentum behind Palantir, and especially with earnings coming up here, we could likely see that $20 level of resistance being tested here in the near future. Yesterday, what we did see is tons of implied uh, um, volatility around the October 13th 
expiration contracts for about that $18 strike price. That's going to be in just a few short days here on Friday. At the $18 strike price, you can see right here, lots of volatility, lots of call options. Looking at those $19, $20 strike prices, and especially on the put ends, you still do have some volatility here. People betting that Palantir might have too much hype behind it and could possibly come down. But needless to say, Palantir has had a lot of recent momentum, a lot of buying pressure, a lot of confidence coming into it. And especially, like I said, in times of turmoil that we are seeing right now, we're seeing an increased demand for Palantir's AI software working to help better analyze these important things in terms of security and of course in the terms of technology advancement because ai is going to have a large influence on the world and we've seen it so far in 2023 just what ai has done alone now one thing especially looking at the company's financials is this will expand on their actual government revenue now government is the major revenue maker for these government contracts for palantir tech technologies and as this does continue they will be able to build more of a reputation which they've already done in terms of trust for expanding their clientele basis to different sectors different industrial sectors and one example that we have seen of already before is palantir getting involved with the healthcare industry remember they are the top bidder and they are set to secure that top contract for the united kingdom national health service to help analyze and you thought utilize their AI software for copious amounts of data and especially trying to you know analyze the data for all of those citizens so tapping into all these different sectors and especially having the majority of those contracts reliance on government contracts bringing in secure stable revenue keeps me bullish for Palantir. Now, of course, like I said, we could and we're likely going to have lots of volatility continued with Palantir, either in the bullish or the bearish perspective, because a lot of people are looking at that November 6th date, which is earnings. This is going to be a big date because a Palantir can accomplish and can fulfill the actual satisfaction and the prediction of top Wall Street analysts, institutional investors, and even retail investors, then that will continue to show the reliability behind the stock. And especially a profitable company, number one, to say the less, the amount of cash that they have on hand really shows that they can put a lot into future development into their resources and AI development, which is really a very competitive industry right now. We see many people competing to create these AI data analytics softwares and these products that they can sell. Palantir right now is leading this initiative, separating itself from that AI bubble that's being coined. At least that's the way I see it. I wanna talk about it. If you have different things in the discussion that you wanna add, if you have feedback for the videos, please leave it down in the comments. I wanna improve for you guys, make the videos better, and also just create and talk with you guys more. That's why I love doing this. So take care, peace out, and I'll catch you guys later.